reading Facebook. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. Yeah. Right. Let me tell y'all a little bit about myself. I'm from this little town out in Hiram, out in West Georgia called Hiram. Y'all ever heard of it? Mm -hmm. No? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Some of you have. Let me tell you how to get there. You want to go there sometime? You go to the parking lot. You get your car and you head straight to hell. <laughs> Right before you get there, you're going to feel a sharp wind. And I know you get close when you start having mud inside. <laughs> Little FYI, never let a woman with a mullet bite you. It's as bad as a rattlesnake bite with that meth mouth and all she's got. <laughs> we finally got some famous folk moved into hiring. Jimmy Buffett's cousin came in and opened a restaurant. Her name's China Buffett. <laughs> Summertime, so I had to bush hog my legs. <laughs> Time to get ready to go to the beach, so I had to trim the old monkey grass. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these young girls are shaving their tooties all the time, and I just don't understand that. But it might explain why they so damn ill for walking around stretching their legs. <laughs> Back when I was a young girl, the only time that we would ever shave Miss Tootie is if she was expecting dinner guests. <laughs> I had this terrible thing happen to me yesterday. Let me tell you all about it. I was in Hiram down for Dollar General, or as we call it there, the mall. I go walking around the corner, and there is a 400-pound heifer standing there in a pair of daisy pukes. Her shirt's up to here, her gut hung down to oh about right here, and apparently her tootie was starving to death because it completely eaten a father's choice. You know, I go to great lengths to hide my shit, and here she is walking around for God and everybody to see. On a side note here, how come when you see a woman like that, she's got a skinny little bitty man with her? Hell yeah, good looking, but how did she get a man? Maybe think she can cook good. <laughs> Skinny little man better tie a board across his ass because I saw what happened to a short. I want y'all to do before y'all leave the house so that don't happen to anybody else that gave me a little PTSD. Alright, the first thing you do is you put you on a pair of breeches with a waistband on it. And then the next thing you do... I told y'all I knew how to hide my shit.
because I'm not a comedian. I, I came here to start shit. <laughs> then somebody told me I had to do a four minute set to introduce myself. I'm not a comedian. I don't have a four minute set. So, uh, I'm the only man in America to live in a haunted trailer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I figured I would hack Ricky a little bit just because, you know, he don't need this shit anymore. <laughs> figured I had to have something to show for the fact that I've lost hours of my childhood sitting in clubs with his ass. <laughs> but it's whatever. It's whatever. Does anybody know why in the hell it is $31 to get into late winning now? <laughs> like, no, I just want to go get on the scrambler, get some ice cream or something, but $31? I don't think so. The more mutated those fish get, the less Lake Whitty should cost. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly because I can't do paddle boats knowing that shit is out there. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Somebody told me that the reason the price went up so much was because you can get into the water park now. Huh! <laughs> water park! Yeah! <laughs> Going to a water park anyway is like saying, God, drowning in other people's pee is an okay way to go. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> but Lake Winnie? No. Hell no. I ain't getting in no type of water at Lake Winnie. Have you seen those cards? <laughs> no, that that's your genetically modified organisms and cart the size of a Rico Franklin coming up for a Snickers or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know that water has to evaporate, right? And then it goes up in the air and rains back down on that water park, right? It's just the rain cycle. The Shamu size cart shit Rossville, Georgia rain site. <laughs> I couldn't go to a water park if I wanted to anyway. Ordered a new bathing suit off eBay. It came from China. Yeah. Bathing suit fell apart. I still got to sew it back together for the four year old in the factory didn't do it right the first fucking time. <laughs> They don't make child laborers like they used to. <laughs> you know, they probably have places to sleep now. <laughs> if we don't do something, they're going to get to go to college. <laughs> they're going to get their little iPad breaks. <laughs> do any of you guys have kids with iPads? Yeah. What the hell is a four-year-old going to Google doo-doo? <laughs> Keep up with his My Fitness Pal app. Well, see, uh, there was 10 calories in that booger I ate earlier. <laughs> and then some glue. No. No. Hell no. If your child eats his own biotic matter, he's not ready for an iPad. That's nasty. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm clean. Now, a good friend of mine, uh, we're all across the country. Give it up for Corey Forrester. <laughs> Tab, ladies and gentlemen, Tab Blankenship. Quincy Tammy Joe. That's a lively bunch of fuckers. Appreciate it. That's good. <laughs> love being back, Chattanooga, man. It's good to see you guys. Man, really is. I travel all over the place, man. Let me tell you something that I love about Chattanooga is all the women in Chattanooga wear just com right here, comfortable ass shoes. Immediately right in the front. Look at these. These fucking pay less, buy one, get one pieces of shit. I love them. I love them. I love them. Show the world. Show them. Put your. Look at that. Look at that. That's Chattanooga shoes right there. That's a Chattanooga shoe. 
I go to Atlanta. Atlanta does not. Atlanta women do not wear shoes like that. All right, they because they they have priorities that are not comfort. Like, <laughs> the Chad Newman's got this weird love fest going on with like Rock Creek and you know all that shit. Where it's like all the women wear like the chacos and the bur the flip flop Birkenstocks and shit. And, like, you look at that woman and you go, oh, I get right on. She's she's a lesbian. All right, I get that. That's not that. Uh, but she's with a guy, right? You know what I mean? But he kind of looks gay. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's Chattanooga in a nutshell, right? First off, it. Georgia has peaches. <laughs> Chattanooga has two queers that said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's confuse our parents. All right, let's do that. That'll be fine. Women in Atlanta don't wear shoes like that, though. They wear these heels. These he and First of all, the heels, they're bigger than my ding dong, y'all. All right, that's all I got to tell you. Now, let me tell you something, ladies. If your heels are bigger than my ding dong, I can't do shit for you, okay? Like, quit, quit twerking, quit. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, by the way. I have no idea what twerking. I could be twerking right now. I have no fucking idea. I have no idea. I don't get it, though. I don't get the women that wear the heels because I ask them all the time. I go, oh, my God. First, and every woman also likes to say, they look at other women wearing heels, and the first thing they say is, go, oh, girl, she cannot walk in heels. <laughs> None of y'all bitches can walk in heels, okay? Let me tell you much right now. And now every single one of y'all looks like a pigeon trying to make biscuit and gravy with their knees when you fucking walk. Look like an autistic hummingbird going to the store. That's what you look like. It's bullshit. Oh, I can walk in these heels. I can... You can't. And I always ask the women, I go, what? That can't be comfortable. I get the same response every time. Oh, no, it's not comfortable. I go, well, what's the point then? They go, well... Because when you wear them, it makes your calf muscles stick out and go like, boom, like this. And it makes your butt kind of cup in like this. And then, um, and then dudes want to fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, let me save you some money and discomfort right now, all right? Uh, we'll fuck you in a pair of Asics, all right? Did you know that? We will. We'll, we'll do it. You can be barefoot. Did you know that? Yeah. You really don't even need to have feet. All right? You really don't. If, we, if me and this son bitch right here saw a woman just rolling down Market Street, no arms, no legs, just a peel, ass over head, you know what I mean? We'd pick her up, fuck her, and take her to Cheeseburger Cheeseburger. That's what we'd do. Okay, that. I don't know if you can tell, but I do a lot of drugs. And, uh, I'm at <laughs> I do, but you, you ever be traveling down the road with your buddy, you know, and you're, you're like going to do a show and you don't have a lot of money, so you have to steal your dad's duffel bag because you lost yours, you know what I mean? So you steal your dad's duffel bag and halfway down the road you hit a bump and then a pack of your dad's extends comes out of the duffel bag and you're looking at it, you're like, oh my god, my dad's taking extends. What a fuck. Ugh, that's disgusting, you know? But then you and your buddy are drug addicts and you're sitting there going, hey, can you Google if extends have the fedrin in it, right? <laughs> so, then you're Googling, you're like, turns out it does, so you're both snorting rails of a fender and fucking extends off of each other's back, driving down the road, you're in Kansas, you both got raging hard boners, you're driving with the son of a bitch, you know what I mean? He looks over at you, and he's like, hey man, this is pretty cool, and I'm like, yeah, I know, my dad's a fag, right? That's it. It's weird. That's weird. You know they say all birds fly south for the winter? Does that mean that like in February in Michigan there's just like no goddamn birds? Like, is that what that means? Because I feel like I'd put it on the pamphlet. You know what I mean? Like if I was in Michigan, I'd be like, come to Michigan in February. We ain't a goddamn bird around here. Right? It's crazy. Or do you think that maybe Michigan gets all the lazy birds flying from Canada? You know what I mean? <laughs> they couldn't make it all the way because they had the they had the kids on the road trips like we used to when we were kids. They got the, the daddy bird sitting there flying his ass off the entire time. You know what I mean? The mama bird just sitting there going, "You should have turned left back there, you dumb son of a bitch." You, know? you got the baby birds in the back going, "Daddy over there yet? Daddy over there yet? Daddy over there yet? Shut the hell up! Don't make me turn this V around, right?" <laughs> I like to do something, uh, and I think you should try it. It's called take a fuck ton of ecstasy and drive down the road, okay? <laughs> if you ever tried it, it's awesome. It really is. It's great. One time, me and my buddy uh, Bear, this is his real name, uh, we decided we were going to take three and a half triple stacks of ecstasy 
Because you hear all the people as soon as I've had three and a half triple sacks of exes that went, whew, those are the drug takers at your table, okay? Because they're aware that is a shit ton, right? It's not, like, it's not like pampering, man. You can't just take a shit ton and go, oh, I hope it feels better in the morning, right? I should be dead right now. This is not... So we decided to take three and a half triple stacks of ecstasy apiece and drive to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, right? That was our big plan. And just and we're driving down the road, and just as soon as we're about to peak, hear all those other people when I said that? that those are the drug takers that lied the first time, right? Because they know that Pete doesn't mean to look through your blinds to make sure that Mexican's not stealing your garbage when he's cutting your fucking lawn, right? It means... When the drug is the best it's going to be, right? So as soon as we're about to peak, a really kick-ass song came on the radio, right? And both of us, without saying a word to each other, just looked at each other in the eye. And one of those guy moments we just knew. We are about to air band the shit out of this song, all right? And so we look at each other, and he's driving. I'm in the passenger seat, all right? And I decide to myself, as the responsible person in the car... <laughs> I'm going to take the drums, right? Because that's a two-handed operation. He needs both of his hands so that he doesn't wreck us into what I'm guessing is a fucking grizzly bear. We're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, right? So I'm sitting there, and oddly enough, I'm up first as a drum solo, right? So it starts off, and I'm just sitting up here just like... I look over at him and he's like gonna take the guitar and I'm thinking he's gonna take the guitar like most of you guys when you're fucked up on your way to work, you know what I mean? Ten and two. No! This son of a bitch leans back all the way in the console first off. He strapped the fake guitar on. Just starts staring at me, just going, damn. Damn. Car is going out of control at this point. I'm losing my mind, but I'm just sitting there just going. <laughs> He's just sitting here, damn. I want to say something, but I got to keep my throat clear because I I had backup vocals in like five seconds. You know what I mean? So I got to keep it chill. So he's just sitting here, Dah. and I'm just sitting here going, and that a one guitar, it felt good in his hand. This son of a bitch is sitting over here. He thinks the gas pedal is the foot pedal on his guitar, right? We're sitting there, we're going 75, 65, 75, 65, 75, 75. And just as soon as we're about to lose control and wreck this son of a bitch, the song ends, he overcorrects, and we air-banded the shit out of that song, ladies and gentlemen. We sure did. Yeah. 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 And I know that doesn't sound like a lot to you guys, but trust me, as someone who's been a drug taker their whole life, bald as fuck at 26, doesn't have a lot of shit going on for him, it's comforting to know that at one point in my life, I was the goddamn jukebox hero. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for Corey on the great night. Enjoy the rest. Everybody gets me too. Uh, give it up for Willie B. <laughs> Y'all give it up. For the white dude. <laughs>
it looked like they wanted to take a picture, and I was like, okay, I'll take a picture with them. And I didn't know if they were telling me the truth or they were lying to me because I asked them that they want to take a picture with me, and they said I would, but I don't have no more film on my phone. <laughs>
Nah, that's some nasty talk. I don't know if I should do it. Yeah. Y'all hear it? Yeah. Have you ever had the pee and cum at the same time? <laughs> you said you want to hear it? Like you're in bed and it's feeling so good and it, it's about to come, but you don't know if it's calm or it's pee. <laughs> and you want to go to the bathroom, but you want to bust one before you do it, you don't know what's going on. I ain't finished this up yet. I, I was going on a date one time. I had met this, uh, I, I had knew the girl for a couple of months, and we went out on a date. This was not the first one. It was probably like maybe the fourth or fifth date. So we were going on a date, and she told me to wash my ass before I went. And I said, why? Uh, do I stink or something? And she said, no, just do it. And I was like, okay. I thought it was weird, but I went ahead and did it. We went out on a date. We went back to our house. And then when we was at her house, she started coming up on me. And we were about to have sex. And we started having sex. And then she started doing something weird. She started licking in between my ass. And I was like, hey. What you doing? <laughs> I didn't know what to do. And she said, uh, how do it feel? I didn't really know what to say. So, uh, how do it taste? <laughs> and she said, it tastes kind of funny. Um, did you wash your ass? And I was like, yeah, I took a shower and washed my ass. When I got out, I had to take a shit. <laughs>
front seat and turn his hat sideways, <laughs> slid way down, couldn't sit on the steering wheel, <laughs> called me his dog, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> but now if you've got a male cat that's got to be fixed hey if you don't fix him you'll never damn sleep again <laughs> well so bitch when something goes wrong when the sun goes down when they get like that you know he's standing at the foot of the steps the whole night long and go Crank it up, soldier boy, Superman. <laughs> That's my time, guys. Enjoy. 